and welcome back to today's lesson. Now, in the previous section, we talked about putting together your perfect prospect profile so that we know who we're targeting on LinkedIn. Now that we know exactly who our target audience is, we need to create profile copy that speaks directly to them and entices them to click on your profile and want to learn more about you and do business with you. So today we're gonna to focus on the profile headline and we're gonna talk about um, how to differentiate yourself from the competition with your headline and also how to increase your profile click-through rates. Now remember, the first thing that people are gonna do when they find you on LinkedIn is they're gonna read your headline and what you do. If you can get that to be enticing enough for them to want to learn more about you, that's the first step. So when we write a really compelling headline, we can get more people to look at your profile, we can get more people to be interested in learning more about you because you've caught their attention. So let's go to LinkedIn and look at some great headline examples and exactly what you need to do to put together a perfect headline that people are enticed to want to learn more about how they can work with you. Now here we are back on my profile headline. So let's take a look at what I've done to change this. Now what most people do is at, on their headline they'll say like CEO of XYZ company or director of this and that. The problem with that is it doesn't really tell your prospects the value that you provide, why they should connect with you, why they should care. So when you say when, or when you have a generic headline like that that's just being pulled from your profile that's just your title at whatever company you own or work at, it just makes you blend in with everybody else. So the whole purpose of this is to stand out from the crowd and when you do come up in a search or when somebody finds you in a group or you post something that your headline grabs your prospect's attention and they click on your profile to learn more. So really you, you kind of want to think of this as kind of like copywriting for an ad. The first thing that you, you got to do is have an enticing headline so people click on it and then you take them through the process from writing great copy on, on the ad uh, and then down your funnel to convert them. So this is really step one of converting them to wanting to do business with you. Now let's review what I've done on my headline and I'm also going to give you some examples of some great headlines that I found for you on LinkedIn. Now I say lead generation experts get Gets clients targeted leads through Google and LinkedIn, delivers ROI of 300% plus. So I'm being very specific here. I tell people I am a lead generation expert and I help you generate those leads using Google because we have SEO services, that's how my company started, and also LinkedIn services. On average, our clients are receiving return on investments of 300% or more. 300% is the lowest, so it goes up from there. Now. I've had several conversations with people who I met through LinkedIn where they specifically asked me, it's like, hey, how can you get my company a 300% ROI? That one sentence was, was what made them curious enough to reach out to me and want to talk to me more and find out about how my company services can help them. So that's what you want. You want to pique the curiosity of your customers so that they ask you, well, I, I saw this result that you provided someone. How can you do the same for me? Now, now the door is open. So let's take a look at additional ways to provide value through your headline for your prospects and get them interested. Now, here we have Laurel uh, Langmeyer. She's very well known. And so her headline is very authoritative. She says, wealth creation expert and five-time best-selling author, internationally known as the millionaire maker. So if I'm looking to expand my wealth and I come across her on LinkedIn, I see this person's been a best-selling author not just once. I mean, to be a best-seller just once would be amazing, but she's done it five times. She helps create wealth and she's known as the millionaire maker. So this woman makes other people millionaires. Wow, I want to know more about that. So again, that, you're just putting words in there that's going to pique people's curiosities to want to learn more about how you could do that for them. And we also have Natalie Ledwell. It says, author, speaker, and life improvement crusader. I've helped 2.1 million people well, I mean, yeah, people worldwide achieve their goals. Ask me how. So now we've got a call to action. We're talking about how many people she's helped. It's 2.1 million. It's a lot of people, and she's helped them achieve their goals. Wow. Well, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm having trouble achieving my goals, and I come across that, I want to see what she's doing. At least find out a little bit. So again, that's getting that click through right there. Uh, here's another really great headline example. It says consultant. 223 recommendations, so he's using the social proof element there to differentiate himself from his competition, and he talks about 
What he does is online reputationing, positioning, and authority strategies. Connect now. Again, there's a call to action and there's a social proof element. So there's not one way to specifically write your headline, but it just depends on what aspects of what you have to offer you really want to highlight. What's the best and what do you think is going to give you the best results? And you know, there's there's no right or wrong answer. Like if you create a headline, this is going to be the headline that, that does it for you. You need to test, test, and, and tweak. Maybe you create a few different headlines and then you try each one out for a month and see which one you know people asked you about the most or or got you the, the best response based on the other marketing tactics that we're going to do later on. Uh, let me show, show you just one more headline. And what I love about this one is that it's very specific as to who he helps. Now, Arthur only works with attorneys, so he says that right on his headline. So when an attorney comes across him on LinkedIn, he knows that this guy really knows his stuff when it comes to the, the, the lawyer marketing space. So he says, helps attorneys expand with search marketing, SEO, and pay-per-click, rapid results, ROI over 1,000%, and then he puts his website on his headline as well. Now Arthur is one of one of my students, and so you know obviously he got he got a lot of this from, from my teachings, but it, it works really well for for him. It shows people who he works with, what results he provides, and that it's fast, it works, and he's targeted to that specific niche. So what should you do next? Well, you want to brainstorm three potential headlines using your workbook. Now, in your workbook, it's going to ask you to list the top results that you have achieved for your clients. So whether that was you have you know doubled their business, tripled their business. You know what did that mean in income? Write these numbers down. How many leads do you generate your clients, or how much time? If you have software, how much time does that save them, or, or how much money does that does that save them in what they're currently using right now? So you want to think about the top results that you've provided, the top benefits of your product and service, and write those out. Then you want to list who you help. The more specific you are, the better. Do you just help attorneys? Do you just help chiropractors? Do you serve a specific niche? If you do, you definitely want to speak to those points in your headline. Have you worn? Have you won any awards? Uh, any received any big accolades? Spoken a big stage with like you know Richard Branson or Robert Kiyosaki or, or somebody like that? What achievements have? Have you achieved that make you different from your competitors? Have you written a book? Are you an author? Are you a best-selling author? Um, what kind of social proof do you have? Have over 100 people recommended you, 200 people? Now, later on in the training, we are going to go over how to get more recommendations to your profile. So if you don't have that many recommendations right now, don't worry about it. You will build those over time. And then later down the line, you can use that in your headline as well or as a selling factor, You know, having all the social proof for all these people that recommend you for your services. Um, and so you want to write all of this down and you want to create two to three headlines. And obviously, you know, you can't put everything in there. We've only got 124 characters to work with within LinkedIn. So that's why you want to create a few headlines, put different things in, in each one. Maybe on one you, you talk about the fact that you're a best-selling author. Maybe in the other one you talk about how much money you've helped your clients make or how much time they've saved or, you know, have a call to action. Maybe in one of them you have the social proof element, a call to action, and maybe a result. However, you can fit it in there and then get some feedback from your friends and colleagues about which one sounds best. And just because they like a particular one doesn't mean that that should be the end all be all and you'll never change your headline again. You're always want to, you always want to be testing. So test one headline out for one month, see what kind of response that gives you as we start to get more active on LinkedIn throughout the other lessons and then switch it out and then see which one piqued the most curiosity from your prospects, which one they mentioned more, which headline was the one that got you the most click-throughs, the most leads, and stick with that. Now your headline is an, is an evolving process as well because you might have one amazing result that you're talking about in your headline today, but maybe you know two to three months from now you've created an even better result for a client, so maybe you want to highlight that instead. Or now you've got you know tons of recommendations and you want to speak to that point. So go ahead and Create your headlines, update your profile, and of course, earn your badge. I can't wait to see all the amazing headlines that you guys are going to create. Now in the next lesson, we're going to further expand on our profile headline and write more detail about what we talked about in the headline into our profile summary. So I'll see you on the next video.